Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. So, you know every week I scour... Okay, not every week. But uh, I scour the internet looking for homebrew objects. Uh, usually related right lately. Been related to my Curse of Strahd campaign. But I've gotten burned out on homebrew monsters and things of that nature. They were specifically related to Curse of Strahd. Well, while we were playing... Um... We had a little joke the other night. Well, let me tell you where you're at first. And who I am. I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee. And you're watching How Do You Want to Brew This? There's something in there. It's just not going to happen right now. So, in our last game session, uh, that you can uh, talk about on Monday, was we talked about, me and my son, while sitting at the table, I rolled something, and I said, no, that's a 16. No, it's an 18. Um, and we got the, on the discussion of would it be interesting to have a creature or a piece of armor or something that had where the the dice rolls were a little more randomized like the are the armor class um so this creature a natural 20 would not hit regardless but a natural one would uh it'd be like Numbers one, if they rolled uh, a one, one through five would would be hittable. Uh, four through nine would not. You'd just miss. And then, you know, you just, these blocks of numbers on the dice that you would roll would miss the armor, but they wouldn't be, they'd be randomized. Like a one would hit, a two would not, a three would hit, a four, five would hit. You'd have to actually sit down and and even it out so the so the odds were the same. But think about that how that would mess with your players' rolls. Because they're usually rolling high numbers and now all of a sudden that high number hit is not hitting, but that three that they rolled and give them a maximum of five just knocked the shit out of this thing. It would only have to be, it'd have to be, on a, I think it would have to be a creature. It couldn't be a, a magic item. If it was a magic item, it'd have to be cursed to allow, because the players would want to use it. It would have to be something that they would be, they would find really detrimental. Um, but that, think about that, DMs. Would that be an interesting conundrum for your players why we hit it on a 13 so a 14 should hit but a 14 is not hitting a 14 is drastically missing um some sort of uh creature of probability hmm think about that guys a creature of probability would have the could manipulate the timeline or the thing to be if whether it was a hit or not it'd be an interesting concept it'd be uh i'd like i'd be curious to see how it working game mechanics what was the other thing we talked about so that was the main one was just yeah and then how do y'all feel about cursed items in general how bad does the curse have to be? And <clears throat> would you put it to your players with an identify spell? Because a lot of identified, would you allow your, do you allow your players to identify a cursed item with the curse on it? I think for me, 
at this point, the cursed item, I would have them do cast identify and possibly roll Arcana. So they would know what the item is supposed to be. And then I would give them an Arcana roll. Ooh, passive Arcana. Okay, here's how I'm going to do cursed items. Identify will identify the type of magic it's supposed to be. Because it is cursed, it has altered the fabric of its weave. The and a passive arcana check will check will determine whether the player has actually noticed that this magic is is wrong. That's something I'm gonna have to think about. I think it would be interesting to do. I think I'm going to start doing things that way. Uh, what do you guys think? All right, it's a short video today. My head is all stuffed up. I need some to clean up whatever was in that coffee cup. It looked at me and it had a couple of daggers. Um, so that is all I've got for today, guys. Remember, if you like these videos, click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, click on the share button. Every likes an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. That would me gain 300 experience points so I can get the second level. And as always, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points for every video that you share. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. And that's all I got for now, guys. So go forth and roll some dice.